Example 2. The following transformations are applied to the graph of y equals x squared. Write the equation of the transformed or image function for each. And in A, we want a horizontal translation of 5 units to the right. So if we want a horizontal translation, the first thing we have to recognize is whether it's A, P, or Q that causes our horizontal translation. And hopefully, we all say that's what P does. Now, if we want to go to the right up here, we need to have P being a positive value. So I'm going to claim here that our P value has to be positive 5. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that P value of 5 and I am going to substitute it into my vertex form in place of P. So my equation should be y equals just x minus 5 all squared. I don't want to add or subtract anything on the end of that because that would be moving the graph up or down. And I don't want to put any kind of an A value other than 1 in front of there because that would cause a vertical stretch. Okay, looking at B. This time we want a translation of 6 units down and 4 units left. So I'm going to expand upon that a little bit more. A translation of 6 units down. Really, they should have told us that we wanted a vertical translation of 6 down. And then they should have told us that we wanted a horizontal translation of 4 units to the left. So let's start with the horizontal translation of 4 units to the left because we've just finished in A talking about a horizontal translation. We know that it's our p-value that causes the horizontal translation and if I want to go to the left, I need my p-value to be less than 0. So going 4 to the left means I need p to be a negative 4. Now for a vertical translation, is it A, P, or Q that causes the vertical translation? And I'm going to claim that that's Q. And if I want the graph to go 6 down, then I need Q to be less than 0. So I'm going to need Q to be negative 6. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just start by rewriting this vertex form. Sometimes I call it the skeleton. It's just kind of like the outline that we use or the template to substitute into. So I am going to take this p value of negative 4 and it's going to come in here in place of p. And then I'm going to take the q value of negative 6 and that's going to go in for q. So what is that going to look like? Well, I'm going to have y equals, I'm not changing a, a is just 1, I'm not going to put anything in front of here, otherwise I'm going to get a vertical stretch. I'm going to have x, remember that minus sign is built in there. So it's just in place of this green cloud, this circle, that I put 
a negative 4. And I'll tidy that up in one moment. And then in for Q goes a minus 6. Now, inside that bracket, minus a minus is going to be plus a positive. So I'm going to simplify this to be y equals x plus 4 all squared minus 6. And that will be my final answer.